Adventure waits for no one. You're watching Prolifics Outdoors. All right. Good morning. Welcome everybody to another episode of Walkie Talkie. The second episode. Um, today I want to talk about a, a common problem. Um, it's probably one of the biggest downfalls um, to success. A lot of people have this problem and so I was hoping I could offer a little insight, something that I picked up along the way. Um, I think the biggest downfall to success is procrastination. Um, there are a lot of good ideas that never came to fruition and hindered a lot of the people's success because of procrastination, putting off what you could do today for tomorrow when tomorrow's not promised. And before I went to bed last night, I, uh, I was thinking about it a whole lot. And I woke up today, um, this morning, still thinking about it. Um, I'm actually in the middle of a big project, a business project, and it's something that's not real favorable, something I don't like doing. Um, and so I had to figure out a way that I could stay motivated enough to accomplish the things that I need to accomplish when there's a lot of other things that I could be doing to take the place of it, you know, because a lot of times we, instead of getting up, you rather do something a little bit more pleasurable, like sleep in. Instead of going to work out, you rather do something a little bit more pleasurable, like jump on a game, or uh, instead of, you know, taking care of your grocery shopping or your laundry, you rather go stop and grab something to eat. It's just always something. And so, um, I just had to come up with a way to um, stay motivated, keep my motivation. And what I found is that jotting down your plans, making plans, and um, coming up with like an itinerary for your day, setting your goals for the day, and not too many but just enough where you can see things accomplished. And I do it by time. So I said, okay, um, uh, seven o'clock, I wanna be at the track, I wanna be walking. Um, while on the track, I wanna be able to uh, discuss my topic on YouTube or on my GoPro. After that, I wanna pop in my, uh, my ear pods and I wanna run two miles or three miles. After that, I wanna go take a shower go out to get something to eat, go have some breakfast. Directly after breakfast, I'm going downtown to meet with Jay Willis, and we're gonna go over this business plan. I mean, just one by one by one by one. And by the time you get to 2.30, 3 o'clock, I mean, by all rights, you're ready to quit, and you, and you justify to be able to do whatever you want because you have accomplished so much by 2.30, and you can see what you've accomplished instead of just winging it and having nothing done at the end of the day. So I, I found out that works a lot for me. Um, just organizing my day and organizing my time and see how I'm dispensing my energy um, through different, different, um, you know, activities or things that need to be done throughout the day. And um, by the time you do that for three, four, five days in a row, you have a long list of accomplishments. You know, you have a long list of accomplishments. Just tackle one thing at a time, one thing at a time. And you'll look up and you'll be like, wow, I got so much accomplished. But you can, it's something about visualizing your progress. 
it's something to it. I'm not sure what it is, but and um, that's why I like to write down all of my goals. And I don't know care if it's for the week, for the month, for the summer, for the year. Write down your goals and then tackle those one by one and you'll be surprised how much more you get accomplished. That is the way that you beat procrastination. That is the way you beat it. You know, and there's gonna be a lot of things that don't work out right. You know, you might go to do this and they're closed or you might go to do that and you, you find out you don't have with it everything that you need to accomplish that. You gotta go back to the drawing board, go get prepared and go try it again. But the fact that you attempted it and seen it through, um, it speaks quality and it, it speaks volumes and, and it, it, it definitely um, prepares you um, it makes it that much easier, um, you know, what, just getting one step out of the way. You're not even saying that you, I'm not even saying that you have to complete every task, but th the first step to doing anything is the first step. So you have to at least take the first step, but don't put it off. Don't wait. Like, don't be deterred. Go at it head on. I mean, it's time now to put things into action that you've been hearing all your life. All my life I've been hearing, you could be whatever you wanna be. You can do whatever you wanna do. You just put your mind to it. Hard work pays off. I mean, we, we hear our teachers, our parents, Kobe Bryant, the mom, they talk about the mama mentality, just being aggressive and attacking. Um, that which you can visualize. If you can visualize it, I mean, that's half the battle. You just created it by the thought, you know. That's the first step of, 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 of bringing it in, into play. Bringing it into fruition is, is visualizing. So once you've done that, that's like half the battle. But you know you gotta put the work in. You gotta put the work in. Even, even God himself, when he created the world, he had to put the work in. You know, it took some type of energy from him because it said after he created the heavens, the earth, and the this, and the that, he had to rest. What you have to rest for? If he was just thinking and just put it, everything was just popping up on his own, he wouldn't have to rest. It took some type of energy. So... Look, man, we, our, 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 our motto is, man, we're going to rest on the seventh day. You don't know, don't too much happening. And I consider, I don't know if some people consider um, Sunday as the first day of the week or whatever, but, you know, they don't care. You can look at it as Sunday, you look at it as Saturday, whatever, but pick one of them days where you have that day off. You know, I don't care, pick two days, Saturday and Sunday. But... Yeah, you have a resting period where, you know, you're not doing anything. You're recuperating after a long week of accomplishments. You know, there's nothing wrong with resting. But um, work hard, man. Work hard and on the seventh day, rest. You know, that's the point we're trying to get to. You. Six, seven day, whatever, six and seven day. Go ahead and take your rest. But a deserving, a deserving rest comes when you've worked hard, when you hurt, worked hard all week long towards your goals, because your goals is not gonna come easy. Nobody's gonna work harder than you. Nobody's gonna work hard for you. You gotta work hard by yourself. You gotta do it for yourself. Nothing's gonna fall in your lap. No one's gonna give you nothing. And there's no better feeling than knowing you went hard 100% for yourself and accomplish the things that you wanted to. In the end, it feels so good. You feel like you can do almost anything you want to do. You know, that will actually help you for the next accomplishment because you have something to build on. You know, because you persevered, weathered the storm, stuck it out, and uh, did what you need to do to reach the level of obtain whatever it is that you set out to obtain. So I just wanted to leave that with y'all this morning. Whatever you got going on, it can be, um, it can be successfully um, tackled, completed, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if it can be completed because it might be just a step um, in the right direction. But if you go after it with vigor, 
I'm sure you get there. Good luck in your journey, man. Thanks for walking and talking with me. I'm your host, Outdoor King. Remember, tune in, chime in below in the comment box. Let me know what you think. Until next time, we have.